Hey guys, Tomboy61, and today we have another episode of Best and Worst. Today we're taking a look at Tier 3 Cruisers. You've been playing all week in Arena with them, most likely. So I figured it's time to go ahead and take a look at what is the best and the worst Tier 3 Cruiser. But before we do that, let's go ahead and talk comment of the day. Comment of the day goes out to someone who leaves a comment on one of our previous videos, and this goes out to 5th Column. He says, I'm pretty sure the next arena sprint is tier four, so no carries. And uh, actually, if we go and look at the post, this actually came up in the community contributor discord uh, earlier today. Um, basically, as they had posted as of 48 hours ago, it was all tier three ships. And then we pointed it out to them and we were like, so carriers are included? And they're like, oh no, not carriers. And they've actually changed the article. But yes, uh, the next season of arena mode will be... Uh, back to standard, I guess you could say. Basically, battleships will be allowed, which is kind of interesting. I, I don't know. Tier tier three. We'll we'll, ta we'll talk about tier three cruisers and the the awkwardness that they are today. So best and worst. It's a series that we do where we first go through and uh, put all the stats of all of the ships in the tier into a large spreadsheet. Ships that have the best stat in a tier get plus two points. Uh, second best stats get plus one points. Worst stats get minus two points. Second worst get minus one. We uh, crunch those numbers all together. And in theory, that number should give us the best and worst ship. Um, and then I go ahead and give my opinion as well because uh, sometimes numbers don't tell the full story of a ship. So without further ado, by the numbers, the best ship at the tier... And I know this one's going to be surprising, is Yabari. Yeah, Yabari, the premium Japanese cruiser. Hit points second lowest at the tier at 18,700 with a minimum armor thickness of 6 millimeters with a maximum of 57. No torpedo reduction, which is fairly standard for the tier. There are a couple of ships that do have torpedo reduction. She does have the lowest number of guns at the tier at only two two-barreled guns that are 140 millimeters. Firing range on them is going to be 12.7, which is kind of middle of the line for cruisers. Reload time, 6.5 seconds, giving us the second lowest shells per minute of 37. 180 time on those guns is 24 seconds with an HE damage of 2,400, and that giving you a damage per minute of 88,800 88, when firing that HE with a 10% chance of fire, giving you about a 15% chance per salvo. AP damage, second lowest at the tier at 2,700, giving you the second lowest damage per minute of any cruiser at 99,692. She does have secondaries, which is rare at the tier. Uh, she has one 120 millimeter gun, which really, I feel like they should have just mixed it in with the primaries if they could have, but I guess they couldn't. The range on it, only two kilometers. The reload, six seconds. Max damage on it, 2,000 with an 8% chance to set fire. She does have two torpedoes. Uh, she has two two-barrel torpedo launchers with a reload time of 49 seconds and the second highest damage of torpedoes at 14,600. Detectability, she has the highest detectability as far as torpedoes goes. 1.6 kilometers with a top speed of 63 knots, the fastest for any ship at the tier. The range on them is going to be six kilometers. AA, she does have some of the strongest at the tier. Range on it, 4.5 kilometers with a minimum of three damage per second with the maximum at 55, the highest damaging AA of any cruiser. In addition, she does also have access to that enhanced AA consumable, giving her a little bit of a leg up when it comes to anti-aircraft fire. Max speed of the ship, 34 and a half knots with a turning radius of 560 meters, the second best of any ship at the tier, and a rudder shift speed of 3.8, also the second best of any ship at the tier. Concealment, she is pretty average, 9.7 kilometers uh, by sea, 5.8 by air, and 4.1 in smoke. Overall, I just don't think the Ubari really is the best ship, but according to the numbers, it is... And I think this comes down to it's Stellar AA it having one of the few ships having the secondaries at the tier. I think those two things really throw off its score numerically. Beyond that, I do think it is an interesting ship to play, but it's one that I definitely would not want to be bringing consistently into battle. From best, let's now go to the worst at the tier, according to 
this and it is actually a tie between two ships Svetlana and the Jugi Tuan. I'm gonna go and say Svetlana and go through that ship stats. So Svetlana, she does have the second best HP at the tier 24,600 with a minimum armor thickness of six millimeters and a maximum of 125, the highest of any ship at the tier. No torpedo reduction, but she does also have the most guns at 15 single barreled guns, though they are the smallest of any ship of any tier three cruiser at only 130 millimeters. Firing range on those guns, 13.1 kilometers with a reload time of 8.5 seconds, giving us 56 rounds per minute. 180 time on those guns is going to be the second slowest sh at, at the tier of, at 25.7, though don't put too much weight into that because while well, she has so many, it's not like they're really going to be rotating all the way around. HE damage, 1,900 per shell, giving you 106,400 damage per minute when firing HE with 11% chance of of 11% uh, chance to set fire per shell, giving you 31.13% chance per salvo. She does have the weakest AP of any ship at the tier at only 2,500, giving her a DPM of 140,000. She does have no secondary uh, guns, so that isn't a category we'll be covering. Torpedoes, she has four three barrel torpedoes with the quickest reloading of at the tier at 39 seconds, though they are the weakest torpedoes at 7,233 damage with a detectability range of 0.8, meaning they are the stealthiest technically, but they are also the slowest and shortest ranged at only 52 knots on the torpedoes and only a five kilometer range. AA, she has the second worst range at the tier at three kilometers minimum uh, AA damage is going to be 13 damage per second to planes with a maximum of 13 meaning she really doesn't have uh, more than one or two and it isn't really going to be that effective she is also the second slowest ship at the tier at only 29.9 knots with a turning radius of 590 meters and a rudder shift time of 7.2 seconds she is also one of the least stealthy ships at the tier at 10.9 uh, kilometer detectability by sea, 6.6 .6 by air, and 4.6 when firing in smoke. Overall, she's kind of built to be a tank, but when you look at her armor, the, the thick armor is only really at the very bottom of her near her citadel, and the majority of the spot where you're going to end up getting hit is still relatively weak armor that most things are going to end up punching through. So uh, while on paper there are some stats that make her seem very strong, like having the most guns and having some of the thickest armor, where that armor is means that most of the time it, it could not really end up helping you. And once someone learns to say, I don't know, fire AP, it's going to uh, no longer serve you very well. From that, let's go ahead and talk about what I think is the best ship at the tier. And that's the uh, tier three premium Iwaki. Yeah, I know, pick in another premium. And uh, it's one of the reasons I don't really like doing uh, premiums in these things is because a lot of times you'll end up picking them, but I really do think Iwaki is the best of the tier three uh, ships for cruisers. Anyway, she has the lowest HP of any cruiser at only 18,600 with a minimum armor thickness of three millimeters, which is also the thinnest armor of any ship. Maximum armor thickness 63 with a 0% torpedo reduction. Main battery, she does have five one-barreled guns with a caliber of 140 millimeters. Firing range is gonna be 12.2 kilometers with a reload time of six seconds, giving her shells per minute of 50. The 180 time on those guns is gonna be 17.6, the quickest of any guns at the tier. HE damage, second best at the tier, 2400, giving you 120,000 damage per minute and a 10% chance to set fire. AP damage, she uh, ties with some of the worst at 2,700, giving her a DPM of only 135,000 when firing AP. She also does not have any secondaries, which is once again, sort of common for the tier, though it is a small bit of a letdown. She does have some pretty decent torps though, two three-barreled torps with a reload time of 76 seconds. 76 seconds and the highest damaging torps at 16,267 potential damage. Detectability on those torps 1.5 kilometers with a speed of 59 knots, fairly quick, and the longest range torps at 10 kilometers. AA range, she does have some decent AA, 
3.1 kilometer uh, range with a 31 damage per minute minimum and maximum. Max speed of the ship, 35 knots with a 580 uh, meter turning radius and the quickest rudder shift speed of any ship at 3.1. Detectability is going to be 9.4 when uh, at sea, 5.9 by air and two in smoke. And that is the key stat for her and why I think she really is the best. Overall, she does play sort of a typical Japanese uh, like just destroyer cruiser kind of like weird hybrid where she has strong torps. And uh, but the the key thing with her is she has smoke, which differentiates her from every other cruiser at the tier. I am a big person who loves uh, who loves the British cruisers because of their smoke, the light British cruisers because of their smoke. I think smokes are invaluable. They are such a a one gal get out of jail free card and two i'm gonna set up a crossfire at this position and be able to take people out and that's why i love the iwaki is because she has that smoke she is the only ship the only cruiser at the tier that has the ability to smoke up sit in her smoke and uh, start pelting people at range and then you know kind of use the torps to uh fire at people as they are also at range overall i think that is her strength is those torps and that smoke and that's why I really like her, and which is also why you'll probably figure out why the Dine is going to be my least favorite ship, my worst ship at the tier. Now, let's go ahead and go over those Dine stats. First up, she does have 20,900 base HP with a minimum armor thickness of 10, the second best minimum armor thickness at the tier, and a maximum armor thickness of 76 millimeters. No torpedo reduction, but the main, she does have six one-barreled guns with a caliber of 152 millimeters. Firing range on those guns, 12.6 kilometers with a reload time of 7.5 seconds. Shells per minute, giving you 48 rounds per minute with a 180 time of 18, the second best at the tier. She does not fire HE because she is a British uh, cruiser and therefore only fires that special AP, that quick fused AP. That AP does hit for 2,900 damage with a DPM of 139,000 uh, total damage per minute. She does not have any secondaries, but she does have four three-barrel torpedo launchers with a reload time of 71 seconds. Damage on those 11,967 with a de detectability range of 1.2 kilometers. Torp speed 59 knots, which is the second best of any of the ships. Torp range, six kilometers with an AA uh, defensive range, the worst of any ship at only 2.7 kilometers. Though she does have the best minimum uh, AA damage at 40 and a decent overall max AA damage of 48 damage per second. Max speed of the ship, 30 knots with the tightest turning radius at 540 meters. Rudder shift time, 6.1 seconds with a detectability at sea of 9.5 kilometers, detectability by air, 5.7, and detectability in smoke at 4.2. And overall, the Dine, she just doesn't have the utility that her older cousins do, that, you know, that, that the ships further in the line do. What, she does have the ability to have a repair party, which is very nice. That is a very unique ability at this tier. But if I'm being honest, the smoke is going to be the utility that is high, more missed. Uh, I, I really do think that if it could have had a smoke generator, this would be one of the better ships. But sadly, it isn't. It, you know, it doesn't have it. And therefore, it, it really does end up suffering a lot of times because most other ships have, this, have a similar armor pattern. Most other ships have fairly weak armor. Um, and you, you, you like depending on how they play... You may or may not be able to punch through it. You're still going to be decent hunting down destroyers. But overall, I, I just feel like the Dine suffers a little bit too much compared to all of the other ships that still have HE and AP. Um, and it it just it's just mediocre compared to a lot of the other things that are offered out there. So yeah, Dine is going to be my least favorite ship at the tier. And that's going to bring together this video. So yeah. Guys, those are my best and worst ships at the tier. What did you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great weekend. I hope you guys, uh, I'll hope to see you guys out there in uh, on the battlefield. See ya.